Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Nyx. I know Marvel Phase 4 ended like months ago already, but I only got the free time now. Again, for new viewers, I only became invested in the MCU in 2020 when the world has been locked down due to the pandemic. What else am I gonna do but finally start the Marvel Marathon, right? Anyway, Phase 4 is the aftermath following Endgame, so I love how diverse the projects are. It's both an introduction and conclusion to the new characters and former Avengers passing the mantle to the younger ones. If you're not new to my channel, you've probably seen majority of these pages cause I usually upload individual videos for each project or post a picture on Instagram. Anyway, I also made a preview spread of the entire phase 4 and some side little comments around their posters. My favorite Avenger is Natasha Romanoff, the Black Widow, so it's only expected of me that I love her solo movie especially. It gave me the closure I needed after Endgame. I still miss her but the post credit scene made my heart ache and warm. Other than her solo, Hawkeye TV series also mentions her a lot and it still kind of revolves around her because Clint is her best friend. What if finale also gave a beautiful ending for her? I absolutely love everything that would mention my fave even in the smallest details. Aside from her concluding story, her sister Yelena Belova has been introduced so well too. She's brilliant, she's sweetie and so cool. Her dynamic with Kate Bishop is one of the funniest I've seen with only a few scenes together. I cannot express my excitement enough to see more of them in future projects. WandaVision is on another level that set the standards too high for every upcoming TV series. It has everything, the heart of the story, the effects, the different genre, I don't know. I'm not really well in verse technically. But it's so well written and it's not possible not to grieve with Wanda after everything she went through that we only have so little idea before but we finally witness everything in her perspective. No Way Home is also extraordinary special given that all the characters were established and attached to our hearts too. Expectations were met. When it comes to new characters, my favorite film is Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings. It was a blast. As an Asian, there was relatable moments. Most of all, the soundtrack were all good and catchy, making it memorable. I love Xu Sharling and Kate's character. The dragon was pretty amazing too. I wish I saw it in the big screen instead. Another favorite of mine is Miss Marvel. Kamala is a fan girl, so it's relatable as well. The cultural background is also a great addition because we're learning about a little real life history there. Every project has really something different to offer, and that's what's special about Marvel Phase 4. It's getting bigger and starting to attract more audience. It's brilliant. Eternals is something that's quite growing to me. I don't know, somehow it's better on the rewatch, but I'm not gonna see more details. I just love Druig, Makari, and Athena here, that's all. I also made a separate journaling video about Falcon and the Winter Soldier before, so just check it out. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is the first Marvel film I've watched in the cinema and it's a fantastic experience. I even watched it twice there because it's so good when you rewatch it. Thor Love and Thunder is actually hilarious to me. It's just that when I read negative reviews about something, I get affected too somehow but I really enjoyed Thor at first too. Loki is different, it's kind of messy and was just used in order for the multiverse story line to start. Moon Knight is also special, Oscar Isaac's portrayal was amazing, Leila's character got me, their wardrobe and visual effects are so stunning. Meanwhile, She-Hulk is also good on its own way, 
It's super chill and could pass as a comfort show. And yeah, I love seeing Bruce and Matt Murdock. Lastly, Wakanda Forever is the best. The movie is even better than the trailer and did not disappoint. The intro caught me off guard and honestly brought me to tears immediately. There you go, the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4 pages from my Marvel Journal. There's only a few pages left but there's still so many upcoming projects too on the next phase. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching.